Every minute of every day, a baby is born in Britain. And every birth always feels like a miracle. Liverpool Women's is Europe's busiest maternity hospital. Is that someone else coming in? Where pressure builds. What's going on now? In the wait for the final push. Just come on there. Where am I looking? Babe, hey, stop messing. <laughs> Just hang on. I'm in the middle of a bloody contraction. You're scared, aren't you? <laughs> Moments here make for memories that last a lifetime. Oh, I need this. Come on. You trusted me so far. Trust me now. There's something wrong. And as the waiting ends... Oh, oh, oh. Go on, keep going. Oh, oh my God. Lives change forever. So much takes place in that room. I thought I was brilliant in there, I'll be honest. <laughs> That's why as midwives we become addicted to, to births. It doesn't seem rational that something that size is going to come out of something this big. I can't get my head around it. How did it feel to cut the cord? It's like cutting through bacon fat. <laughs> it is. Oh, you've got a hairy top lip like mummy. Don't you think when you obviously look after couples and the dead sweet and that that it makes you think oh, I wish yes. I had that? Yeah. I do. Not envious, like think oh, I hate I hate you, but I think oh, I if I have that one day. Everybody's trying to find the perfect relationship, and it is difficult. If it was easy, then we wouldn't have anything to talk about. I just know what exactly I want my man to be like when I'm in labour, literally proper in love with me, kissing me, telling me it's going to be all right, even get in the pool with you as well. You know, I can find one of those on plenty of fish, though. I've I'm not on plenty of fish. <laughs> fish. When I was in labour with Joel, he went off and had a went from McDonald's. Come on, baby. Oh. Oh. Do you want me to a wheelchair? Yeah. I think one of the things when we realised we were the same person, what I think I did, was when we was in your flat. And we both had tarantulas at the time. And in our, both our respective toilets was a copy of our just profanosaurus. <laughs> No other person on this planet other than us two that would have had that combination nope. of items. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird one, so now it's in it. We've got we've got seven cats. We've got the tarantula as well. Yeah. We did have two bearded dragons, but we got rid of them because they were too noisy. <sighs> Do you want me to go to the wheelchair? Uh, try walking. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> You have to boost me. Hello, can I help? Hi, it's Kirsty. Come through. <sighs> oh, what do you press there? Chase. Oh. Hello, sorry, problems oh. at the door. <laughs> Going up. Where are you going? Uh, I'll take you down. They come in strong. Yeah. My original spider I had for 13 years was called Spider, and she died, and you went out and got me a new one. Yeah. Right from being a little baby, she was. Yeah. <laughs> Tiny little spider. About she looked this like big a she was. spider, didn't she? Yeah. She's not about this big. <laughs> not quite ready, in your room. I'll just get it all um, set up for you, okay? What's your name, Dad? Phil. Pardon? Phil. Phil, nice to meet you. I'm Cheryl. Do you feel like your horses have gone? No. No. And has baby been nice and active? Yeah. Yeah. Kirst is extremely tough uh, in every sense of the word, uh, emotionally, physically. Hello. Hi, Kirst. 
person. I'm Louise. I'm going to be looking after you. Do you want to pack it up? Do you want to stick it on? Oh. You're scared, aren't you? <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. Is it your first, is it? Oh, lovely. It's scary, isn't it? Because you're seeing someone in pain. It's just she's the stronger one in the world. Yeah. Just got to be there for and hold her hands and keep her nice and calm. Okay, that's a bit of a silly question. <laughs> We're about seven centimetres. Frickin' hell. So you've done that already with nothing. That's amazing. I am a little bit squeamish, so... A little bit squeamish. <laughs> Big breath. so well. <laughs> When one of when our cats was giving birth, you know, and you have to pull the kittens out, and then I was having to rub it, he was a little bit... <laughs> he, he manned up in the end and yeah. cut the little cords for the kitten. <laughs> I've got a bit of a thing about umbilical cords, because <laughs> when I was born, uh, mine was wrapped around my neck. So there will be an element of the birth which will be a little bit uncomfortable for me. Deal with that at the time. <laughs> yeah, deal with that at the time. Don't touch me, head. My mum found Alan in the car park. Really? Yeah. Doing what? Having a cigarette, because he was terrified. You can see why they were sent to the pubs in the old days. I can remember with my two, like my oldest two, with my ex. He was overbearing. Do you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Is that right? Um, yeah. Should they be doing that? Should we be, do you know, yeah. should, should I be doing this? And if they don't know what to do, it's nice to give them jobs, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. To feel involved. I do think because labour is such a stressful time, it, it can be very intense, it can be very pressurised, and you might feel that you've got Superman as a partner, but I think that labour can be kryptonite to any relationship. Hello? OK, what's your name, lovely? OK, Carlotta, come on in, lovely. Hello, sweetheart, come on in. We'll take you up to this room. Oh, you okay. look like you're really, really starting off now, don't you? <laughs> oh, bless you. Come on in here. Because wow. he, he has faith. Bit of eye candy. OK, I might be a second lady. I'm Vicky, by the way. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Okay. What's your name? Uh, it's a bit tricky to pronounce. Javier? Javier. 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 Yeah, I've always noticed that um, women always look at Javi. They don't always turn around and look at Javi. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Javier. 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 Where's that from? Um, we're from Spain. From so Spain? Oh, I'll Spanish. get full details from you. <laughs> he looks very Spanish and dark hair and the beard and, and everything. And I guess that attracts people. And it's my type, so you will attract me as well. <laughs> and how are you pronouncing your name then? Carlota. And yours, pronounce it again for me. Carlota and Javier. 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 Yeah, Javier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to long. Thanks for being here too. Uh, the first time we met, it was in London. I was having an interview there. I thought, well, she's, uh, she's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, and I just tried to be nice with her, and that's what I did. She was one of the sweetest girls I've <laughs> ever met, and we click almost immediately. Estoy helado. <laughs> yeah. oh. Estoy helado, yeah. oh. I wasn't sure, really, if, if he yeah. liked me. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I made you a couple of sandwiches. Let me just get the chocolate yeah, first. The plastic bag. No, no, this is the sausage roll. Which one do you want now? Sausage. As a one. Oh, All right. Oh. I take care of Carlota and, you know, try to make her as comfortable as possible. You fancy a cup of no. tea? I think it comes naturally, so it's, it's like a gift. That's it, yeah. Let's squeeze my hand. <laughs> okay. What we can do later is always get Javier to do some back massage yeah, for you I as know. well. He's good with that. <laughs> so tell me, do you know what you're having there before you go? A girl. Has she got a name yet? Adriana. Adriana? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> and this is your first baby. Fantastic.
we kept going out until we kissed. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah, right after that, well, we were both new. We didn't want anything serious with anyone. So I think that's how the best stories begin, I guess. So how long have you two been together then? So nearly three years. Nearly three years? Oh, lovely. And are the wedding bells likely to yeah. be? You're going to get married? No. <laughs> You're not doing that, are you? Well, it's a matter of time, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to get married, but, but you don't? <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Oh, priority. Um, <laughs> no, no. Sweetheart, should we do this examination then, lovely? Oh, good. Just relax, yeah. It's still about a centimetre, you know. Oh, I oh, know. Mm. Oh, bless you. That's the No, because you try not to be demotivated. Okay, this happens yeah. with a lot of ladies, okay. Mm. Won't be a second, mother. Oh, right. <laughs> Is he Javier? Yeah. You know what? That is a that it looks like a perfect relationship to me. It does. Because he's just so loving towards her. What more could you want? And he's really attentive. But I did say to her, I said, I said, there's marriage on the cards, and she said, um, she said no. <laughs> so she, I think she is the one that's very uh, no, no marriage for me. <laughs> they are lovely. But then again, everybody's relationship looks good from the outside, doesn't it? I suppose. Yeah. I like this, you see this. A child asks his father, what is a man? The father replied, a person who takes responsibility for his family and his house and takes care of them. Mm. Then the child said, I hope I'll be a man like mum one day. <laughs> it's quite true, that, isn't it? Yeah. Relationships do have their ups and downs, and it's the down times that you want your partner to be there, to be supportive and to be reassuring. And that's the same for labour. You need them to be able to take the cues and know what to do when you're having a bad time of it. <laughs> A proper labor. I'm so getting an epidural. Toda barriga diferente. Está como más globulosa. No, oh, eso no. Y ahí también. Uf. Oh. Ah. Oh, look at you. <laughs> oh, bless you. And I hurt my like <laughs> I'm just wondering, how do you feel about having a pool birth, then? I do want my epidural, though. You do want an epidural? Are you sure you want an epidural? Should and I, know, I know most of it is in my head, but I, I have What's to. making you want to have an epidural? The pain. We had a lengthy discussion about all the painkillers, so we just made the decision that epidural could be the most suitable one. What I can do is I'll go and see if we've got a hot water bottle and see if that helps. OK. Because sometimes the, the heat can help. We just... Realize we discovered that the paracetamol didn't touch it. It's not very effective at all, so she's still in pain. So they were. How about, I mean, how about, did the massage help at all? What I'm saying is like, a, well, so we're in the 21st century, so there's a wide <laughs> range of, of, of painkillers yes. to choose from, so there there's no need to be in pain, that's, that's what I'm saying. I guess that the man role in the labor is uh, to be um, supportive, just um, do what you've been told to do. And don't forget, just focus on the labour and every single push will bring you closer to your total. So just focus on that and go for it. Let me go and get this hot water bottle and see if that helps. Yeah. <laughs> She's fully dead in mind to put you off of oh, the yeah. you realise it. <laughs> I want some light. Yeah, you need to take the pain away. I don't live in a cave. <sighs> During labour, I think, or I like to think that I'm going to be calm, and I like to think that I'll know when it's coming. <laughs> but I'm really worried about the pain and just don't want to think about it. <laughs> hello, hello. I've wrapped a hot water bottle in a pillowcase so that it doesn't burn really? you. But should we say, should we say a little bit no. whether that would help on the back? If you do go for an epidural, the anaesthetist would come and talk to you first okay. about it. They will mention about the increased risks of, of having yeah. um, an instrumental. They will also talk to you about the fact that it doesn't always take all the pain away. Because as much oh. as we say with medical science and everything, yes, in no, theory, in theory, we shouldn't have any pain. But even on general anaesthetics, some people yeah. get pain, don't they? 
Some ladies can come in and their mind is set on having an epidural. Sometimes it's the first thing on the birth plan. It was for me as well. Before I became a midwife, that's what I thought. I was scared. I was scared of pain. Let's do this examination then, if that's OK, and see where we're up to. You can hold Javier's hand there. Oh, if an epidural is what a lady is adamant that she wants, then it is much better to have it later on in labour than early stages. Not much difference, lovely, am I? Oh. I, th I personally do think you're probably best going home and seeing if you can last it out at home a little bit longer. Keep having your nice warm baths. The other thing that can bring on labour is sex, actually. <laughs> I know you probably don't feel like it at all. The, the prostaglandin that they use to induce you is in semen. You're a little star. <laughs> no problem, that's all right, things. sweetheart. No, you've been a star, you've been a pleasure. They're weird. It's like soft shortbread that tastes of cheese. <laughs> Take it, you stop going to Slim and Wheels as well, Joe. Oh, yeah, can't be doing that. <laughs> I thought, I'm going to give it a go, and I might mean the man of my dreams. But why would I want to do that for if someone else? If you're happy with the way you're all, exactly. why, why change Why change it? for a man? <laughs> Get you some gas. All right, big breaths. Big breaths. You're doing so well. You're doing so well. Oh, I'm going to need some. It's all right. Let's get you in this pool. We'll get you some gas and you'll feel a million times better. Just need to listen to this baby first. I think that I can be a romantic person. Oh, you are. When you go pick flowers out the garden and I wake up and mm. they're there, that, that's romantic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do love yeah. things like that. I'm not. I can see myself to be a bit blokey, but I do yeah, love the yeah, football. Yeah. I do like cars, new car shows and things like that. And you don't like girly, girly girls, do you? It's a little bit on the slow side, that's what we'll do. We'll get you some gas in and then we'll just pop you on the monitor for a bit and just see what's happening. Is that all right? Yeah. I'm going to ask someone just to fetch me a monitor in. Pretty much just brought up by my mum. Um, that's always just being in the background. I can't remember ever living with them. Get you on this monitor, just get you some gas. <laughs> it's okay, big breath. Get you some pain relief in a sec. Just let me see what's happening with this baby. When we got together, I said to myself, this is it. I haven't spent a night apart since. We check us some day off quick. She's gonna really gonna deliver, but she's just desperate. She's gonna give you this little injection, okay? And you know what you're having? Freaking baby. You know, people go for drinks after work. I don't. I I go home and spend some time with Kirst. Baby's head's a little bit high and you're about eight to nine centimetres, okay. She's my world. Baby doesn't seem to be coping very well at the minute, so we're just going to get the doctor just to come and have a little look at the trace, OK? This can happen sometimes. We don't know the reason for it. A lot of the time, it's just the cord somewhere, OK? It's all been really quick, hasn't it? And all we're doing is just literally going across the corridor. That's it. Big breaths. Mm. Big breaths. That one gone. Should we examine you? Ah. Yeah. We're going to have to take you to theatre, OK? We've already discussed, like, if I had to ever go in for, like, a caesarean, that then, you know, he's got to have to come in with me, and I'll be OK going into the room, as long as I know he's following me. Someone needs to just ring them and tell them. Worst comes to the worst, un unless we ultimately have to, I'm going to be in the room. Yeah, you come with me. Just take a seat there, OK? In an emergency when Mum is rushed to theatre, we have to concentrate on Mum and Baby. Well done. And Dad will have to come second, but we do try to get him in as soon as we possibly can. But those minutes when a couple are apart can be very, very difficult. OK, so I'm just going to give 
We had got used to our routine and having our freedom and everything. The next contraction, on a big push. Ooh. It is going to change. Yeah. Oh, I just don't get it yet. It'll hit us when the baby's here. Ooh. It's it's our final final big thing uh, <laughs> together uh, before we get married at whatever point. Yeah. This is our our little baby. Yeah. Our little swan song. Our little family. She's fine. She's lovely, isn't she? She is, I know. Right, shall we wrap you up again? She's gorgeous. Do you want a cuddle? There you go. Congratulations. Hello, baby. I'm your daddy. Where's my girl? It's strange saying, it's strange saying, where's my girl? It's not to a cat. <laughs> Thanks so much. Was he all right, the dad? He looked like he was going to pass out he anyway. Oh, he was cute, that little dad. I know. Yeah, he was cute. Can I have another one? No. In the ideal world, you will have a partner with you in labour and throughout your relationship to bring up your children. However, the world isn't perfect and sometimes you have to go it on your own. I've managed to do it myself, and I do believe that I'm a really good mum. It's very comfortable here. Really, really well. Um, so I'm not going to say anything. Obviously, yeah. This one. Hello. Hello, guys. I'm still with the wrong bag. I'm still talking. Oh, no, it's okay. We'll take you around. <laughs> So you come in on your own, yeah? Yeah, yeah, my mum's going to follow me. I support you a lot, yeah. Yeah, my dad's going to take over when my mum gets there. So. Oh. so if you just make yourself comfy, I'll bring okay. the bed down for you as well. Oh, OK, thank you. So you excited or nervous or a bit of a bit of both, yeah. So what bin number baby is this? My third. Third oh. Yeah, it's my third cesarean as well. Is it? So that's yeah. why you're having your electives then? Yeah. And what have you got at home? I've got two girls. Oh, and do you know what you have having now? Yeah, another girl. Another girl? Yeah. Yes, house girl. Girls. I know. A bunch of divas in our house. Oh, they? Yeah. <laughs> having a plant cesarean, it's very controlled and very organised and you can 
um, get the children minded and everything will be organised and planned and relaxed and it's like going into a spa and, you know, getting away for a bit. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> Carla. Yeah. You alright? I'm Toria. Hi. And um, the Mosaic said to go with you today. Oh, to OK. Are you alright? Yeah. Good to meet you. I was told that you wanted to know where about you are on the list. Yeah. <laughs> You're third at the moment. Third? What time yeah. is that? I found out a rough estimate at the time. Thank yes. you. <laughs> I plan everything down to a tea. I do. I make sure that everything's booked. My eyelashes, my me, me hair, my me pink curls. And then I can go in prepared then. And I'm looking the best I can be, considering, you know, I'm having a baby. It is, it's perfect. The senior sections are perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we're here to see Tyler. Tyler. We haven't got Tyler on here. Right. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. Uh -huh. uh, section lady. Uh, yes, um, see the section. Come on through. Thank you. Tyler's appearance, she, she's always been the same, glamorous. She likes to get up before the kids get up so that she's ready for the day. And then she gets all the clothes prepared for the kids. That's her routine that she likes to stick to the routine. It was a totally different world when I was young. When we went out, we'd all get dolled up and it was to go out and we were going to dance and we were going meeting people and sort of like that. But she likes this, this is her confidence. It's not so she can attract a bloke. Come in. Oh. Carla. Gosh, roasting in here. Yeah. It's one of them that down there. I think it's just because I have to get out by the hand about down there and walk through. I just rang here and you're not in here either, but here you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love Tyler to settle down with somebody. Maybe, you know, at, at her age, I shouldn't be interfering at all, but I'm still her mum. You're saying she's, she's glam, isn't she? <laughs> Someone comes in and has a baby and they look glamour, then it's depressing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She'll kick you now because she doesn't like this. When I found out I was pregnant with my third, it didn't didn't phase me at all. It didn't even occur to me to think about being with somebody. Having my mum there, that's 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 enough for me, and I'm happy with that. Slim, aren't you? Just your bum. That's all Last year, I split up with my partner. That was a hard decision, but it, I had to do it because it, did, it just didn't, it didn't work. I haven't even, do you know what? I don't think I've even asked your name. Rona. 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 <laughs> you probably won't remember She's it. She's been tired <laughs> I will, I will. I'm good with names. I'm <laughs> excited. Yeah, she's tired. Yeah. She hasn't had much sleep last night. No. She's got about, because she's an L technician. Yeah. So she's got a couple all of thousand clients. girls who were... My God. And there are all, all these messages, and I said, put it away. She'll have the baby, and then in a couple of days she'll get, when are you back doing? Yeah. <laughs> when can I get my nails well, done? Well, she's <laughs> took herself up for six weeks. Oh, good. She good. says. Yeah. We were just saying we can see you being back in work in a couple of weeks. <laughs> you need to look after I, yourself. I know, I can't. I can't, but I would, I would love to, but it's just one of those. She will yeah. if she feels well enough. That's the problem. I've done, I done five sets on Saturday and three yesterday. Is she supposed to have finished? <laughs> See what You're I mean? Mad. You're absolutely right. She's supposed to have finished when? Do you love it? Yeah, do you just enjoy it as well? Love she does. Yeah. Love yeah. Job. That helps, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a rough, rough idea of what nails are oh, doing. Wow. The Swarovskis. They're amazing, aren't they? Having my own business, it means I can be very independent and, you know, I am the one that brings in, you know, the, the money for, for my family and I don't need anybody else to do that because I can do it all on my own. I would do nothing in there. <laughs> if I got them done, I'd be like, oh, I can't, sorry, I can't do that. I can't yeah. wash the Well, this is, I think, I, um, I do cause a few arguments in relationships. Yeah. Because they just don't want to lift <laughs> yeah, a finger. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Keep breathing on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No es en Jeep. What's again? What's in the reload? That's it. Scream. Well, me and Javi, we don't want to make a big deal about our jobs, just in case they treat us differently. Um, we just want to be treated equal and good. Do you want me to flat you down no. a little bit? No. Sit you up. We, uh, what we do for the league event is that we're both nurses. So right now we're um, on a surgical hospital um, on the ward. I think it'll be funny to see how wives react and, and act around us. Hello, Hi. I'm Natalie. I'm taking over. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hello, hello. It's only me. Hello, lovely. Hey, hi. Here we go. Oh. I want to heard you were over here having the epidural. I thought, oh, my. Oh, yeah. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're getting back around 6 o'clock or so. About 6 o'clock. So yeah. the video I was in at 8. I'd better shoot back to my lady. I've got a lady over there oh. at the moment. So I just thought I'd, yeah. I'd I listened Thank in you. and thought I'd run over and say hello to you in between. So <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I'll try and come back a little bit later, okay. especially right. when you've had. Let me know if she has the time. Okay. While we're on shift, I'll, I'll come back and have a cuddle of it. Thank you. You take care. Thanks See you soon. Lovely. Thank See you. Bye bye. With Javi being a nurse as well, I'm a little bit more calm because I know if I can really handle anything, he'll be the one doing that. Natalie, can I ask you something? Yeah. So, um, when do you reckon we can go home? Right. Okay. Um, so it depends on what time baby's born. Oh, so if baby's born through the night, yeah. I'd probably recommend that you stay through the day and maybe another night just to help with the breastfeeding. Oh, right. So basically, okay. only the colostrum is the colostrum, in there at the yeah, minute. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, you know more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well. yeah. yeah that's it. Well, they usually do say that doctors and nurses are the most difficult patients and the worst ones. Doesn't matter if you're a nurse or whatever you are. If you want to be a pain, you're going to be a pain. So what is it you do for jobs? Nurses. Both nurses? Yeah. Ah. Oh. I, got, I got a bit of an inkling before when you were asking a few questions. I thought, <laughs> oh, you know more than you're letting on there. <laughs> right, I'm going to scribble in my notes and come back. It won't Good. be long. All right. Thank you. Never guess what, right? My couple of nurses. Both of them. And I went, so what do you do for jobs? <laughs> she went, we're both nurses. Stop. Yeah. It's all right. Everyone from every background's got to have babies, I guess. Oh, no. Oh. I'm going to press the buzzer. Don't be a nuisance, you know, for the nurses. You know, you know what it feels like when somebody just ringing you at all time. Imagine we were assholes. Be a pain in the ass having to come in and make conversation. <laughs> well, there is something you have to deal with, you know. Uh, yeah. Let's keep it, you know, as strictly professional as we can. Yeah. And that's it. It's nice to get them done, isn't it? Because you can always look back on them then. I've had some material to see a photo shoes. Oh, that's beautiful. That. Is that this pregnancy? Yeah, that's. The other day, oh, that's lovely. Have you showed it? I've yeah. only got that's the one. I'm quite, I'm quite popular on Facebook, aren't I? You I've just got loads don't of be pressured into going back. You just relax, take your time. Your clients will still be there. You know? Yeah. They're not going to get the nails done by someone else once, but it is mostly, it's mostly financially. I don't want to struggle. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I'm we need to go back to work. Yeah. Yeah. Just have to tighten your belt, and as your dad says, stay off the iPad. <sighs> Online shopping. Uh, yeah, I do love buying for my house, don't I? And, it, and if she says, she says, Dad, do you fancy coming for your tea? Why? What do you need putting up? Oh. <laughs> I got it in a, a new toilet seat, and it's got um, diamantes on the oh, lid. Oh my god! And I got my dad to put it, and she was like, "What are you doing with that?" Come down, when she's ridiculous. <laughs> It is a lovely toilet seat. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> my dad, my dad is me like shining and armor when it comes to any situation. He's always there for me. He's always doing me DIY and everything. Um, but they don't make them like that no more. They don't like. I don't know. It makes me sad when I hear us speak like that. But there's like no one there. They yeah. don't. It does. It makes me sad. 
because I think she should be happy with a partner as well as it's just not... the kids, you know? I'm going to go and see if I can get a little bit of an update, I think, and see what, if I can give you an estimate. I'm sure should I can soon, shouldn't I? I'll go and find out and I'll come back in a second. Oh, OK. At the moment, it's like she's not interested to the, you know, that no other bloke's going to come along sort of thing. That doesn't mean, like, last life's over. <laughs> I know it. Well, it is, it is in a way for you. Why? Because it's sort of... You know, it, I know the kids are really important to you and the house and your job, but isn't it nice that you have a little bit of something too? Excited. Yeah. I'll try to stay as calm as possible. All aspects of my life has worked out and is working out, but when it comes down to a relationship, happy. it doesn't seem to have worked out for some reason. I've got one eyelash quite low down there. I don't seem to to have found anybody who who matches up or is what I need. Eyelashes and least of me boys. I know it's just in case it stabs you. I don't want you crying in the wrong places. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have a relationship and a marriage like my mum and dad, but you know if if I can't find that standard of relationship, then. It's not worth it to me, and I, and I don't think I would have the time for it. Yes. Um, the third one is in now, so we're just waiting. Okay. You're, you're next. Okay. <laughs> Should we take a selfie to celebrate? <laughs> take a selfie. <laughs> Go on, take one. <laughs> I love a selfie. <laughs> oh, it's not taking it. Good. I never. Do you want to put a pair of slippers on just to walk down the corridor? Just. Yeah, Is that all right? Yeah, I don't know where about. These? Yeah. I didn't expect anything less <laughs> than those slippers. <laughs> Which one are we in here? We're in You all right? Kind of a bit nervous now. It's just worrying. Don't worry about it. Everybody's got this idea of, like, you know, the perfect family. Struggling to breathe a bit. People find it hard to know that I, I want to be on my own. OK, sweetheart. Yeah. Tyler, what can you feel? Nothing. What can you feel? Nothing. Any pain? No. Good. She just goes, Mum, I'm happy. I'm happy the way I am. You want to stay quiet, just tell me. Okay. No, I'm all right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. She's living her own dream, so that's, you know, that's what she wants. Can't wait to see her. I can't. Three lovely girls we're going to have. <laughs> Hold that. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just waiting to cut the cord. Shine on my hair, Tom. Look at her hair. Where's the hair? I do understand that my mum worries about the fact that I'm not with anybody and not settled down in a relationship. So we're just <laughs> <laughs> She's got some lungs on her. Times have changed, I think. I think women are a lot more independent in life. You don't need to fall back on anybody anymore. She's gorgeous. <laughs> my girls and my career and things like that, that's what's important to me. Straight back to your mum. I'll stay close. I'll just for a little bit. Mm. £7.8.5. It's a shiny little. She looks little, doesn't she? Yeah. And loads of hair as well. Oh, 
she's gorgeous. You know, when you see women who've, who've been on their own for quite a while and they get to the 50s and 60s and then they meet someone and it's like, oh, they retire together and I've got a feeling that I might be, like, one of them. <laughs> She's lovely. Congratulations. She's absolutely gorgeous. Doesn't feel real. That one better. Oh my god. Yeah. Hopefully it will come out. I'm just so fucking nervous. Being nurses, you get a knowledge of all these things, but we don't know as much as a midwife. I'm gonna stop drinking coffee. Otherwise, I'm gonna start to bounce. All right. right. Yeah, just wanna push now? Yeah, come on then, let's go. I'm gonna get ready. <laughs> Nothing goes as planned, so you never uh, can anticipate things. You, you need to go with the flow and, you know, just, uh, just try to improvise. That's it, that's what I, I'll do. I think something's there. You all right? You all right? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no so, sorry. Is it cool? That's it, go on. Okay, okay, yeah. Right, keep down going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep <laughs> going. Yeah, well done, love. Don't do that. Yes. Okay. It's really weird <laughs> okay. when it's numb. Right. I probably should appreciate Javi a bit more than what I do. A little more. Does it hurt? A little. <clears throat> I'd like to think it's good enough, um, but, you know, we could all do a little bit more for the person that's with us. Um, so, yeah, he deserves that. I should probably, you know, appreciate him more. <laughs> I was designing love, love. Just keep I'm pushing. Like well, I'm not going to see anything. He seems so, yeah. Yeah, buddy, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does the push feel pressure in the bum? Yeah, she's feeling all the pressure. Yeah. She's pushing with the pressure, but we, no, there's nothing at the minute. <laughs> She's getting the doctor. She's going to come in and give us a little help, OK? Ah! I'm going to buzz out, honestly. I can't. You can, you can. Yeah. Go on, keep no going. Oh, no Chill on your chest. Oh. 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 Hi, I'm Mika. I'm one of the doctors working tonight. And we'll try and give you a hand and get this baby out, yeah? It'll all be over very soon. Oh, You've done really well. Come on, oh. <laughs> so... No, you have. You've done it really well. We're at the home straight now, OK? Yes, I have Nearly there. Have baby out very soon. OK, so your next pain, listen to Katie, give a really big push, OK? <laughs> These are going to feel different because the baby's going to be much lower. You need to concentrate, you need to not lose it, you need to hold your breath and you need to push, OK? It'll be over very quickly, OK? Sometimes labour can get really tough. It's a very difficult time, and it's at those moments that a loving couple can really come into their own. Well done, love. I want to pass out. No, you're not, you're not, you're not. Okay. Okay. Slow it down. That's it. Listen to the doctors now. No. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah. Listen to them. Okay, listen little them. pushes. Okay. That's it, that's, that's it. it. That's it. Just breathe, breathe. Don't push in and just pant. Breathe. Just pant. Just pant. That's it, that's it. That's it, that's it, baby's coming. That's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, amor. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Ya está, ya está. Venga, ya está. Vámonos. Oh, my God. Muy bien, amor. I wouldn't change any single thing about Carlota. She's the person I want to uh, live my life with. Yeah, from now on, we'll take care of my, my daughter and, and my, my wife, <laughs> my girlfriend. Yeah, the time has come. Oh, Lord, God, Jesus. Keep that
I think I am very lucky that I found him. I don't think getting married would make any difference. Having a baby with him, it's good enough. And since the very beginning, I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him and have my babies with him. So I'm really lucky that he felt the same way. Okay. Oh, very good. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Next time. Have you got your lippy on, Chris? Yeah. Being the male midwife, you're definitely the odd one of the bunch. If you need me, press that rather sexist image of a midwife. <laughs> The last thing they expect is a six foot, 16 stone ginger monster. Get that bath on, women. I will get that bath on. <laughs> Rose got standards up here. <laughs> and if you don't meet them standards, then you know about it. So, have you got any other sisters? One's enough. One's <laughs> enough. We used to fight quite a bit. <laughs> she was a winder. I'll get her out. I've tried to forget, but it's in the back of my mind if it happens again. <laughs> If you can't wait till next time, visit channel4.com slash oneborn for exclusive videos of families from this and previous series. Next Tuesday, 9 o'clock, the next one born. 9 o'clock tomorrow night, it's back. The frantic search for evidence. Lots of no comment in 24 hours in police custody. Now, next tonight, have you heard the fairy tale of the princess and the tattooed giant? Might just have a happy ending. Brand new, first dates. Every minute of every day, a baby is born in Britain. And every birth always feels like a miracle. Whoa! Liverpool Women's is Europe's busiest maternity hospital. Is that someone else coming in? Where pressure builds. What's going on now? In the wait for the final push. Just come on there. Where am I looking? <laughs> Stop messing! <laughs> Just hang on, I'm in the middle of a bloody contraction. You're scared, aren't you? <laughs> Moments here make for memories that last a lifetime. Oh, I need this. Come on. You trusted me so far, trust me now. There's something wrong. And as the waiting ends. Oh, oh. Go on, keep going. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Lives change forever. <laughs> so much takes place in that room. I thought I was brilliant in there, I'll be honest. <laughs> That's why as midwives we become addicted to, to births. It doesn't seem rational that something that size is gonna come out of something this big. I can't get my head around it. How did it feel to cut the cord? It's like cutting through bacon fat. It is. Ooh, you got hairy top lip like mummy. Don't you think when you obviously look after couples and they're dead sweet and that that it makes you think oh, I wish yes. I had that? Yeah. I do. Not envious, like, I think, oh, I hate, I hate you, but I think, oh, I hope I have that one day. Everybody's trying to find the perfect relationship, and it is difficult. If it was easy, then we wouldn't have anything to talk about. I just know what exactly I want my man to be like when I'm in labour, literally proper in love with me, kissing me, telling me it's going to be all right, even get in the pool with you as well. You can find one of those on Plenty of Fish, though. I've I want plenty of fish. <laughs> <laughs> When I was in labour with Joel, he went off and had a... went from McDonald's. Oh, <laughs> 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 yes, come on, baby. Oh. Oh. Do you want to see a wheelchair? 
I think one of the things when we realised we were the same person, well, I think I did, was when was in your flat. And we both had tarantulas at the time. And in our, both our respective toilets was a copy of Roger's Profanosaurus. <laughs> No other person on this planet other than us two that would have had that combination nope. of items. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird one to have, isn't it? <laughs> we've, got, we've got seven cats. We've got a tarantula as well. Yep. We did have two bearded dragons, but we got rid of them because they were too noisy. <gasps> Do you want me to go wheelchair? Uh, and try walk. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be like... Hello, can I help? Hi, it's Kirsty. Come through. <sighs> oh, what have you pressed there? Oh. Hello, sorry, problems with oh. the door. <laughs> Going up. Where are you going? Uh, I'll take you down. They're coming strong. Yeah. My original spider I had for 13 years was called Spider, and she died, and you went out and got me a new one. Yeah. Right from being a little baby, she was. Yeah. <laughs> Tiny little spider, about she this like big. She looked like a little spider, didn't she? Yeah. She's <laughs> not about this big. Not quite ready, your room. I'll just get it all um, set up for you, okay? What's your name, Dad? Phil. Pardon? Phil. Phil, oh. nice to meet you. I'm oh. Cheryl. Do you feel like your horses have gone? No. No. And has baby been nice and active? Yeah. Yeah. Kirst is extremely tough uh, in every sense of the word. Uh, emotionally, physically. Hello. Hi, Kirst. I'm Louise. I'm going to be looking after you. Do you want to pop it out? Oh. Do you want to stick it on? Oh. You're scared, aren't you? <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. Is it your first, is it? Oh, lovely. It's scary, isn't it? Because you're seeing just, someone in pain. It's just she's the stronger one in the world. Yeah. Just got to be there for her and hold her hands and keep her nice and calm. Okay. That's a bit of a silly question. <laughs> At about seven centimetres. Freaking hell. So you've done that already with nothing. That's amazing. I am a little bit squeamish, so. A little bit squeamish. <laughs> Big breath. You're doing so well. When, a, when one of our cats was giving birth, you know, and you have to pull the kittens out, and then I was having to rub it, he was a little bit but <laughs> he, he manned up in the end and yeah. cut the little cords for the kitten. <laughs> I've got a bit of a thing about umbilical cords, because <laughs> when I was born, uh, mine was wrapped around my neck. So there will be an element of the birth which will be a little bit uncomfortable for me. Deal with that Shook at the time. <laughs> yeah, deal with that at the time. Don't touch me, head. My mum found Alan in the car park. Really? Yeah. Doing what? Having a cigarette, because he was terrified. You can see why they were sent to the pubs in the old days. I can remember with my two, like my oldest two, with my ex. He was overbearing. Do you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Is that right? Um, yeah. Should they be doing that? Should we be, do, you know, yeah. should, should I be doing this? And if they don't know what to do, it's nice to give them jobs, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. To I feel involved. I do think because labour is such a stressful time, it, it can be very intense, it can be very pressurised, and you might feel that you've got Superman as a partner, but I think that labour can be kryptonite to any relationship. Hello? OK, what's your name, lovely? OK, Carlotta, come on in, lovely. Hello, sweetheart, come on in. We'll take you up to this room. Oh, you okay. look like you're really, really starting off now, don't you? <laughs> oh, bless you. Come on in here. Because wow. he, he has a bit of eye candy. So, OK, I won't be a second lady. I'm Vicky, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're right, lovely. What's your name? Uh, it's a bit tricky to pronounce. Javier? Javier. 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 Yeah, I've always noticed that um, women always look at Javi. They 
Joe always turn around and look at Javi. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Habit. 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 Where's that from? Um, we're from Spain. From so Spain? Oh, I'll Spanish. get full details from <laughs> it. <laughs> he looks very Spanish and dark hair and the beard and, and everything. And I guess that attracts people. And it's my type, so you will attract me as well. <laughs> and how are you pronouncing your name then? Carlota. And yours, pronounce it again for me. Carlota and Javier. 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 Yeah, Javier. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be long. Okay. Nice to meet you too. Uh, the first time we met, it was in London. I was having an interview there. I thought, well, she's, uh, she's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, and I just tried to be nice with her, and that's what I did. She was one of the sweetest girls I've <laughs> ever met, and we click almost immediately. Estoy helado. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Estoy helado, tía. Oh. I wasn't yeah. sure, really, if, if he yeah. liked me. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I made you a couple of sandwiches. Can you get the chocolate yeah, first? The plastic bag. No, no, this is the sausage roll. Which one do you want now? Sausage. As a one. Okay. All right. Oh. I take care of Carlota and, you know, try to make her as comfortable as possible. Do you fancy a cup of tea? No. I think it comes naturally, so it's, it's like a gift. That's it, yeah. Let's squeeze my hand. What we can do later is always get happier to do some back massage for you as well. It's good with that. So tell me, do you know what you're having then? Boy or a girl? A girl. Has she got a name yet? Adriana. Adriana? Oh, yeah. That's lovely. <laughs> and this is your first baby. Fantastic. We kept going out until we kissed. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah, right after that, well, we were both new. We didn't want anything serious with anyone. So I think that's how the best stories begin, I guess. So how long have you two been together then? So nearly three years. Nearly three years? Oh, lovely. And are the wedding bells likely to yeah. be? Are you going to get married? Nah. <laughs> You're not <laughs> doing that, are you? <laughs> it's a matter of time, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to get married, but, but you don't? <laughs> Yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, priority. Yeah. <laughs> Sweetheart, should we do this examination then, lovely? Oh, good. Just relax, yeah. It's still about a centimetre, you know? Oh, I know. Mm. Oh, bless you. Let's have a look. Look, so try not to be demotivated, OK? This happens yeah. with a lot of ladies, OK? Won't be second, mother. All right. <laughs> Is he Javier? Yeah. You know what? That is a that it looks like a perfect relationship to me. It does. Because he's just so loving towards her. What more could you want? And he's really attentive. But I did say to her, I said, I said, there's marriage on the cards, and she said, um, she said no. <laughs> so she, I think she is the one that's very uh, no, no marriage for me. <laughs> they are lovely. But then again, everybody's relationship looks good from the outside, doesn't it? So yeah. I like this, you see this. A child asks his father, what is a man? The father replied, a person who takes responsibility for his family and his house and takes care of them. Mm -hmm. Then the child said, I hope I'll be a man like mum one day. <laughs> it's quite true, that, isn't it? Yeah. Relationships do have their ups and downs, and it's the down times that you want your partner to be there, to be supportive and to be reassuring. And that's the same for labour. You need them to be able to take the cues and know what to do when you're having a bad time of it. <laughs> It's a proper labour. I'm so getting an epidural. Toda barriga diferente. Está como más globulosa. No, oh, eso no. Y ahí también. Oh, oh, look at you. <laughs> oh, bless you. And I hurt like hell. <laughs> I'm just wondering, how do you feel about having a pool birth, then? I do want my epidural, though. You do want an epidural? Are you sure you want an epidural? Should and I, know, I know most of it is in my head, but I, I have What's to. making you want to have an epidural? The pain. 
We had a lengthy discussion about all the painkillers, so we just made the decision that epidural could be the most suitable one. What I can do is I'll go and see if we've got a hot water bottle and see if that helps. Okay. Because sometimes the, the heat can help. We just realised we discovered that the paracetamol didn't touch it. It's not very effective at all, so she's still in pain. So they how about, I mean, how about, did the massage help at all? What I'm saying is like, well, so we're in the 21st century, so there's a wide range of, <laughs> of, of painkillers to yes. choose from, so there there's no need to be in pain, that's, that's what I'm saying. I guess that the man role in the labour is uh, to be um, supportive, just um, do what you've been told to do, and don't forget, just focus on the labour, and every single push will bring you closer to your daughter, so just focus on that and go for it. Let me go and get this hot water bottle and see if that helps. <laughs> She's fully determined to put you off of this. You're not saying. I want some blood. Yeah, you need to take that pain away. I don't live in a cave.